listen I'm telling you your entire life is in here it's in this kingdom it's in the Holy Ghost walking with him and speaking in agreement with his word the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrock thanks for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us Luke chapter 4 verse 43 and he said unto them I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities also for therefore am I sent so why was Jesus sent to preach the kingdom of God is that what your Bible says yeah. it didn't say I must go into the other cities and tell them that I'm the Messiah and that they need to believe on me and receive me into their hearts so that they can die and go to heaven but he didn't preach that he said he came to preach the kingdom of God say the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God. in fact John the Baptist showed up and said repent for the kingdom of God is at hand John the Baptist said one comes after me is greater than I talking about Jesus Jesus said someone is coming after him and both of them were preaching the kingdom of God that's why I'm sent why was Jesus sent to preach the kingdom of God Jesus had a message and he had to preach that message and it was about the kingdom of God well I too am sent with a message I'm a sent one with a message namely that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words now this is a seemingly narrow message a narrow box within which to preach but if you look at one side you preach from one side the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today or you preach from the other side of the box that you walk with him by saying words if you look on the inside of this box everything is in there because mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost is in the middle of it and I prefer to not think of it as a box but as a window into a whole new world for you infinitely expansive say infinitely, infinitely. Expansive. expansive and it opens up to you a new space say a new space a new space a new place where you weren't before Romans chapter 11 verse 33 says oh the depth of the riches both of the wisdom and knowledge of God how unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out meaning it's ever expanding it's ever expansive mm -hmm. yeah. he is and his word is mm -hmm. each word listen each word is like a window ever expanding on the other side of it it's as deep as you dare believe that it is healing verses are as deep as you dare believe they are prosperity verses are as deep as you dare believe they are it's as far as you choose to go you see how you're the one choosing because yeah. right. we can we can reject a prosperity scripture which means we don't even dare go there and how far will you go in that verse of scripture not very far you shut that you shut that door you shut that window mm -hmm. but if you open it and you dare to walk through it it's ever expansive it is God who gives me power to get wealth what kind of power to get wealth godlike power to get wealth say godlike God -like. power to get wealth power to get only if you believe it and you dare go there Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19 I call heaven and earth you see that 
I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death blessing and cursing therefore he gives you a hint choose life that both thou and thy seed may live who does the choosing we do. we do the choosing he's already said it here in heaven and earth he set it here we do the choosing and what are we choosing either the blessing or the curse both of which are spoken words mm -hmm. he spoke them out already you see yep. so I choose life I'm the one that does the choosing that I may live I choose that I may live yeah. you choose that you may live or not right who does the choosing mm -hmm. are you here he's already put the blessing and the curse there we have to choose it so how do I choose it I choose what words to say he's already spoken the blessing and the curse now I have to choose the words I say because those words have life in them Luke chapter 11 verse 2 and he said unto them when you pray say when you pray say our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done as in heaven so in earth you say kingdom come you say God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven that's how you do it I say this and so here we have Jesus saying the kingdom should come but we are in a different dispensation than Jesus was I hope you know that Jesus went around and preached the kingdom of God and tells them even in this prayer that the kingdom is coming mm -hmm. which meant it wasn't there yet mm -hmm. different dispensation but it did come and it came here in the person of the Holy Ghost Romans chapter 14 verse 17 for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink now I always stop here and I say what is not meat and drink fasting. that's not eating meat and drink mm -hmm. so you could preach on fasting from this verse of Scripture if I not eat if I not eat meat and I not drink what am I doing I'm fasting the kingdom of God is not meat and drink but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost the kingdom of God is in the Holy Ghost so the kingdom of God did come it came in the person of the Holy Ghost the whole thing is here in him only get this straight the kingdom is in the Holy Ghost only that's where the kingdom exists if you're not in him and with him then you're not in and with the kingdom mm -hmm. of God Holy Ghost only now go to Acts Acts chapter 1 verse 1 the former treaties have I made O Theophilus of all that Jesus began both to do and teach until say until, until until the day was taken up verse 3 to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs being seen of them 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God so here's Jesus raised from the dead still with the disciples and the Apostles talking to them about things pertaining to the kingdom of God the kingdom of God verse 4 and being assembled together with them commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem but wait for the promise of the Father which he saith you have heard of me 
verse 5 for John truly baptized you with water but you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence were they baptized with the Holy Ghost yet no. did they believe that Jesus was raised from the dead yet yeah he was yes. standing there talking to them <laughs> it's pretty easy to believe that right mm -hmm. verse 6 and when they therefore were come together they asked of him saying Lord will thou at this time restore the kingdom to Israel see so they're still interested about this kingdom of God they thought Jesus was gonna do it after he was raised from the dead and established the kingdom of God are you here yeah. verse 7 and he said unto them it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the father has put in his own power verse 8 mm -hmm. but you still here mm -hmm. verse 8 but you shall receive power power of the kingdom mm -hmm. after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost comes on you Jesus was answering their question about the kingdom of God and said you will receive power after the Holy Ghost comes on you so what is the first thing that happens after the Holy Ghost came on people they began to speak right let's look at that Acts chapter 2 verse 4 and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost just like Jesus said and began to speak it was the beginning of speaking with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance so they began to speak as he gave them it was the beginning listen it was the it was the beginning of speaking in agreement with the Holy Ghost welcome to the kingdom of God everything is in here Holy Ghost and speaking speaking and Holy Ghost you shall receive power of the kingdom that's the question he was answering and they began to speak as he as who as the Holy Ghost they began to speak in agreement with the Holy Ghost and yes in other tongues but that's not really the thrust of this message tonight I've spoken on that many many other times speaking in other tongues you're still speaking in agreement it was the beginning of speaking in agreement with the Holy Ghost kingdom of God on earth as it was in heaven mm -hmm. Holy Ghost came out of heaven now he's on earth and now we're speaking on earth as it was in heaven because we are speaking in agreement with the Holy Ghost is this making sense yes. And fortunately we know already many things that the Holy Ghost has already spoken mm -hmm. so that's important for us to speak in agreement with him we have to know what he already spoke second Peter chapter 1 verse 20 knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation verse 21 for the prophecy of the scripture came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of God what spake. spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost so we have holy men of God in the old in days speaking as he gave them utterance are you here mm -hmm. And not as they willed it says not by the will of man but by the will of the Holy Ghost so we have these words spoken by the Holy Ghost and they are his written will they are his written word and it's already been spoken so if we're going to speak in agreement with him what would we be speaking those words, those words same words we speak as he well I choose life remember how he said we choose it 
we speak it I choose to speak on earth his will into existence his kingdom come this day say this day this day you choose again these promises are as expansive as you choose you are the one who does the choosing I hope you can hear this and I hope you can get it I choose to speak life I choose to speak it and then move into it mm -hmm. Luke chapter 17 verse 20 and when he Jesus was demanded of the Pharisees as to when the kingdom of God should come does this sound familiar mm -hmm. he answered them and said the kingdom of God comes not with observation so even here Jesus is saying the kingdom of God has not come yet mm -hmm. right different dispensation when did it come it came with and in the person of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. right and when he came we began to speak as he are you getting this it's not that difficult no. when's the kingdom why do you suppose they kept asking him when the kingdom of God is coming because that's what he was preaching on yeah. he went from town to town preaching about the kingdom of God coming are you here yeah and so they asked him when's it gonna come and he said the kingdom of God comes not with observation 21 neither shall they say lo there or lo over there for behold the kingdom of God is within you I think a better interpretation of that is access to the kingdom the entire kingdom access to the entire listen access to the entire kingdom is within your ability what ability is that your ability to speak in agreement with the Holy Ghost and like every other kingdom it has a government it has an economy it has a currency it has a society a Holy Ghost society but your entire life is in here listen I'm telling you your entire life is in here it's in this kingdom it's in the Holy Ghost walking with him and speaking in agreement with his word well I don't want it that way then you want some other kingdom I guess you can just go back and wait for something else to show up your entire life is in here Luke chapter 12 and then let's look at verse and verse 15 he said unto them take heed and beware of covetousness for a man's life consists not in the abundance of the things which he possesses your entire life like I said is in this kingdom your whole life is in this kingdom and Jesus said the life does not consist of the abundance of things that you possess it doesn't it doesn't consist of the things outside does that make sense mm -hmm. but it does consist of the abundance of things spoken your life does consist of the abundance of things words spoken in agreement with the Holy Ghost are you here this makes me happy this is what makes you rich toward God it makes you rich towards God in that is life it's in the words that you speak in agreement with the Holy Ghost so my message may seem narrow the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words it's ever expansive the entire 
kingdom of God exists in this space worshiping him and speaking in agreement with his word doing this I create my own reality and live there speaking in agreement with the Holy Ghost as God Holy Ghost I thank you for blessing these people that they have heard those words they now see over into the kingdom of God in a way they never have before and they're leaving things behind things that have just held them back and are able to step up anew into the greatness and the wonderful expansiveness that you have for them we worship you Holy Ghost in Jesus name Amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost I worship you you are God in the earth today you have said in your word that you give me power to get wealth this expands in me and expands in me until it takes over all around me I worship you Holy Ghost in it in Jesus name Amen